Hey guys, welcome to our video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Day. As you can see, what I'm actually riding behind is a self-balancing electric unicycle and today I'm going to review this Malaysian brand called Wind Rider from uh, this XGW Asia e-bike company from Malaysia that come from all the way from Malaysia to Singapore to uh, introduce to me to this latest brand of electric unicycle. The design concept is, you mm. want to make it different from the traditional uh, mm. is rounded. Okay. Is the holding routed? The profile is lower. Oh. So there is a purpose why we want to do, make it lower. Okay. okay. The on-off button also we have improved it using the digitally controlled. That ah. means that you see the it's not spring type. Ah. It's a digital type. Okay. So the advantage of this one is let's say that you have jumping ah, mm -hmm. is is the the spring is not hold it, come up then you will cut off. I see. But this is controlled by digital. They don't have that, that, that problem. Digital switch. Uh. Uh. And then the top speed is 25 km per hour. Wow, way faster than yes. the normal. <laughs> yeah. And then, so if you go like the this one, uh, uh. the top speed is 18. Uh. Correct. This uh. one even cut to the 18, uh, they also not give you warning one. Uh. They only about close to 20, mm -hmm. they start give, giving you the, 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 beeping sound. Uh, the beeping sound. And then the is also slightly higher. I think it's a higher so that for you to easily make a sharp turn. What's uh, the power of the motor itself? It's 350. 350. 350. Power. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, 250 what? watts. Uh, but the battery is a 132 WH. Uh, this okay. is uh, quite standard. But we have uh, also 174 uh, WH for Sony. So okay. that is a high end model. We rate that one as 20. 20 kilometers. Uh, this one is 15. So what, what exactly is the price range for this, uh, um, this particular wheel? Uh, Okay, we, we recently just uh, uh, launched in the, uh, Singapore and also the Brunei uh, together. Okay. So the price is the same for both. Uh, it's mm. a uh, That is this price. So now we're having a promotion for the 10% uh, uh, discount. Okay, 10% discount. 10% discount for the deliveries. Yeah. The safety feature is uh, when you tilt like 45 degrees, you'll turn off the power and you hear the beeping sound. And when you go back up, it's automatically turned on. So this feature is uh, uh, not in air wheel currently. And the same thing goes to uh, lifting up and putting back on, it's still turned on. So you might switch off, you will need to turn on and off again. You will resume the power. Okay, what, what is this material? Yeah. This is the... Is the it's just a, I think it's just a rubber. It's just a rubber. It's just a rubber. Uh. Okay, it's quite make, soft. Make it high, uh, means that uh, higher, mm -hmm. so you can have more. What is this? <laughs> this is just uh, glue. Glue, glue on. on uh, yeah. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, is there a waterproof uh, IP65 or something? We are not rated it, mm -hmm. but the whole thing actually, if you open up inside, uh, mm -hmm. the gap is like this only. So, just like most of the the those uh, unicycle in the markets lah. Oh. But you are talking about uh, after rain, mm. the wet routes ah, uh, uh, then it's too issue. Not issue. Ah, uh, okay. But you are still during rainings ah, uh, then actually it's also dangerous to ride on it. Not not recommended. Not recommended. Yeah. Okay. The little stripes there is uh, yeah. much more uh, uh, than the air wheel. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, there's still a a, a hole for the center. Uh. Because there is a debate whether or not the, the gap in the center actually caused the, the soreness of the yeah. middle, middle part of the sole. Yeah. The LED light, when they say I, I move it, ah. okay. see, they, they will go faster. Oh, okay. I see. But if it will go slow, then it will slow down. Yeah. Okay. For the cars to see you or yes, someone to yes. see you. Especially right? at night. So right. there's the power indicator. La. So yeah, you have a color code. Yeah. The green 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 is still alright. Yes. Orange is like low and red uh, is red is a dangerous dangerous power. Uh, <laughs> I mean it's below twenty five percent. So this one can install trolley, right? Trolleys uh it means like this? Yeah, this one. Uh no. This one cannot. What? We were brought right. by this because this design. Ah you see? see. Because this one is a straight down one. Alright, alright. Right. This one is blocked by this already. Oh, so both sides also slightly both blocked. Both sides also cannot. Yeah. So what is the weight of this uh, wing rider? 10 kg. So it's 10 kg. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so light. So light. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, compared to the air wheel. Yeah. But you are compared to air wheel X3, I think it should be about that. Same, same weight. X3. Yeah. X3, uh, X3 is quite, quite light. Uh. Okay, as you can see from behind, I'm actually riding the wind rider up a 
relatively steep slope and I find that it's more effortless than uh, maybe the Airway X3 or X5 uh, even though they are similar form factor at 14 inch size and uh, that means that the, po the, the power of the motor is actually much more stronger and the speed of Wind Rider is so much faster at 25 km per hour so who is more suitable to buy this electric unicycle is people who have tried the unicycle and know how to ride it uh, and demand more speed and power and uh, this is the electric unicycle for you but uh, personally opinions I, I, I've, I'm a safe rider so I can ride it safely but for new um, new riders who have not ride any electric unicycle before I kind of think it's not suitable for you but uh, if you are really insisting on buying one try to wear protective gears uh, and the downside is the, the, the trolley handlebar of the third party trolley handlebar may not be able to install uh, that easily on the wind rider based on the casing design so there is one no no uh, to me but you can buy uh, alternative uh, trolley bar the, the, the draw bar to install on the handle which is uh, not a a big issue well basically that's it for this review and i really hope you like this video and of course do comment in the comment section below what you think about this unicycle and will be interested in getting one for yourself right so basically that's it thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye bye